May 2007. Woohoo! I think I'll go get my heart back to the hell. Oh, that's so good. Here it is. That was here when I got here. First, how many okay. first aid kits do we have? We got three. We got three first aid three kits. First aid okay. And who has them? I've got one, and then Rick has one, right? Rick? Yep. Okay. Let's talk about Camp C. Camp C was founded in, well, actually, it was founded as a nonprofit in what, 2004? That recent, huh? Oh, that's right, yeah. It was founded as a nonprofit in 2004. Been around since 1995. Oh, been around since 1995. Top membership at one time was 35, lowest membership was about 15, 10, and uh, everybody who goes to MSHA training that wants to become a member um, at some time or another, um, and we do a safety briefing, which we just conducted before coming into this mine, make sure everybody's with us. We have the PAL system, so in case somebody goes down, they can alert us throughout the mine. Everybody has a whistle, backup lights, and that's what we just did. So. And we explore, explore and have fun, and hope no one gets hurt, if anyone does get hurt. tension zone which subsides up to the surface so what they did is they put this rock here and there's probably wood up there as well I'm sure there is so basically it supports the upper the upper roof correct so basically so the, the, in, the where this is a, the un, geologists found this to be a really unstable zone so they they lag it all up okay yep. That's it. It, it kind of looked like hemomorphite which is zinc and somebody's been digging them out so I I would imagine that uh, that that's what they are the crystals look like hemimorphite they're the little hemimorphs That's where the gatekeeper lives. Yeah, that's where the. That's where the. the yeah, it's one. Awesome. All right, here we go. This is for the news. So they got the. Uh, and this is a. This is basically an incline shaft. It goes down about uh, what 45 degree angle, I guess. And probably connects. Probably connects to about. I believe. What is it, Bruce? Five levels. Four or five levels there's down. There's five levels. There's seven total, but there's five on the incline, I think. Well, there's two old levels, so it's actually nine levels to the whole mine. Well, you've got to count the ones over on the west side, too, though, because there's, yeah. there's two levels on the west side. So. And that you add that to five over here. So, so this is the incline. So basically what they did was, this is a big winch room. They had a winch operator here at one time that would operate a winch, and he would pull the ore carts up through here. You can see the pulleys right here. The slap where the slap cables would get. Bring it right through here. Matter of fact, there's the there's the uh, slap cable. The slap cable hit right there, and that would bring them all the way up here. They put them on a turn cable, and away they go out to the hollow jack where we just came in at. Before you guys get now, you have your um, you have your vertical gear on. Let's use for that. So that's what I'll use. That's what the that's basically what the suit builder did, right? I mean, you got to have a length that's, you know, I'll put some more or something. Oh, there it is. It's on top of the uh, spot. You sum up and split so you can just flip. You don't even have to put the line Very nice figuring. Okay. Okay.
just done a figure eight on a bite, it would have been the same thing and hooked in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where's your uh, capping point going to be so we don't... Pressure point's going to be right there. That's where we want that firewood. Boy, I'm afraid. You think it's going to break that, putting all the tension? I'll watch this while you guys, when you guys get hooked up and start. I'll make sure this doesn't shaft. Yeah, that's what I do. Just leave your pocket a little bit undone, and then zip your, now zip your pocket up. There you go. Tally-ho. Tally-ho. They should be opposite. One should be, yeah, there you go. There you go. Do you want me to put you on pulley, too? And go ahead and belay you at the same time. Put rig up another line. You know what? Um, pull that fire hose back, and as I step over, then we can. Okay. Okay. That's not good. Here. Okay. You got it. Yeah. You guys got your radios. You got your cricket, right? Uh, there is good. I never had bad air oh. down there, but that's my boy. Yeah. There he goes. I just don't like that, that, I think those things are too, way too fast, I don't know, I'm not, not a big fan of that. Handy, though. I don't like my hold on, hold on, before you go down, lift, can you lift up a little bit so I can get this, there, okay, now, there you go. You are on rope, <laughs> on rope, on rappel, no shit, you are everybody. So where the guys are at right now is they uh, repelled down the 70, 75 foot shaft, the wooden collar shaft, uh, which the miners probably use for ventilation purposes. And now they're at the bottom, and I'll show you through the light down here. Well, can't see because it's so dusty, but basically they're at the bottom of this burned out decline. And they're probably about, right now this decline goes down about a good two, three hundred feet. See, it is burned out. They had a mine fire in the 50s down there, and it's burned out, as you can see in some of these sections here. Yeah, that's where you need to go. You need to go across the decline to the other side, to the drift. You need to go across. Let me, let me shoot my laser. Oh, I don't have it. I was going to shoot my laser down there and show you guys. Kip talk because your radio is breaking up. Hey Kip, do you copy? Yeah, I'm healing on the room. 